Installing Tableau Server on Linux is a lot easier than you would think. There's really only four steps. You need to install the package. You need to activate and register the installation. Then configure your identity store. And finally, there's just a few steps you need to do to initialize the server so that you can log into the front end. All right, let's get going. All right, so there is a step zero because we need a actual machine to run this on. I'm just using EC2 instances and in AWS. And we're gonna choose CentOS 7. That is our OS that we're using. And now we're going to choose something with quite a bit of memory, probably around 64 gigabytes. If you don't have enough memory, the uh, Tableau server will actually give you a warning uh, that you know Tableau server needs X amount of gigabytes in order to uh, install. And we're going to just allow all traffic, give ourselves like uh, 50 gigabytes for storage. That should be fine. And now it's running. So we're gonna grab the IP address. Now this is MOBA Xterm. It is a uh, remote desktop tool that I use. And we're going to use that to connect. So it was initializing. I couldn't connect yet. I'll give it a minute. And now I can log in. OK, on to step one, installation. And I'm pulling up the list of steps uh, on the left here. So you can see them as I copy paste them in. And we're going to install the Tableau server from this link. And you'll notice that uh, it cannot open the file. Now, the reason is because when I originally got this link versus now, um, Tableau changed. the uh, they, they had a new release and they deprecated that previous link. So we'll try it with this other link and that should work. Now the installation does go pretty quick, but of course I sped up a lot of this footage. And hey, there's the message for the minimum amount of memory. So now we need to add our tab admin user and give it a password. So the next thing we're gonna do is run initialize TSM, which is found in this scripts folder. Now the actual name of the folder, the scripts folder, um, depends on the version. So I'm just going in there right now to figure out what that proper name is. So there's initialize TSM. We're going to add uh, the accept EULA flag and the dash A flag because we're running as root. So now we're going to get warnings both about memory and disk space. So after this step, we will need to log out and log back in. Um, and this message here also gives us the location of the TSM UI. Okay, step two, activate and register. First thing we're gonna do is run TSM licenses activate dash T. That gives us a trial license. Um, we can add our actual keys later in the TSM UI. There's no reason to do it now. And then we're going to uh, copy this example registration file um, over and we're going to uh, run TSM register with that file. So you can f find this on Tableau's website. Um, it's probably even on the server somewhere as well, I think. Uh, but it's basically just a JSON with a bunch of fields. And I'll put a link in the description for you. So now we're going to set up our identity store. As a reminder, we're going to show local authentication, not Active Directory in this video. Um, if you are using AD, then you got to work with your AD team and um, it's a little bit more complex but the documentation is pretty good. So we're just gonna go back into that scripts folder that we were in earlier. We're gonna grab the config.json file, um, and that's already set up for local authentication, and we're gonna use tsm settings import dash f to apply that config. All right, final step. We're going to initialize the server and add our initial user. So the first thing we wanna do is run tsm pending changes apply. And once that is finished, we're going to run TSM initialize start server and request timeout. Uh, we can set that to whatever we want. It looks like I set it to a half hour. 
So this is a step that can take some time. And of course I sped this video up quite a bit. I think it took me around, well, almost 30 minutes. Okay, once that is done, if we go over to the page with public IP, you'll see, oh, Tableau Server's not completely set up and tells you what to do. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to run tab CMD, initial user with the server, uh, username and password flags. The username and password is uh, the user that we set up in step one, and the server's just localhost port 80. So once that's done, hey, we got a sign-in screen. We're going to sign in with the same username and password. And there we go. We are in.